Hello and welcome to 2026, the year of the macOS version of Wicked Engine being released. So, as you can see, macOS support uh, has been released yesterday with a new release on uh, GitHub. And uh, macOS uh, executables are now downloadable from the release. And they are also downloadable from uh, just the nightly builds. If you go to the builds, you can find the, the, the versions there. So the macOS version, I've been working on this for more than a month now. And uh, you will find that it's really easy to build, like the Windows version. You don't require CMake for this or uh, SDL dependency. So if you download the, the engine repository and you find it in the macOS finder, then uh, you can simply just go to the editor folder, find the Xcode project, um, editor.xcode proj and uh, then double click it, it will open. Uh, and you can just uh, simply press the, the play button to, to build it and run it. Now, when you first just uh, build it, uh, then it could be in debug mode. That will be indicated for you, but I, I set this into release mode right now. And uh, this is good to have a decent performance. So as you can see, it's a Mac OS and the uh, Wicked Engine is running. Um, yeah, you get the, the usual, ah, okay, what was that? You get the usual uh, experience. Uh, a lot of stuff is already implemented for macOS. Some, st um, some things can be missing, but all the basic stuff I think is there. So you can just go to the content uh, and open Sponza to test it. Uh, and uh, everything just uh, works as you would expect, I hope. Also try a script like the character controller. That works as well. Uh, other effects also work. Uh, other advanced effects like, uh, for example, ray tracing. Uh, let's try ray trace shadows. So you will see that this is not really an experimental build anymore, but a complete implementation of Wicked Engine for macOS using the Metal uh, 4 rendering API, which uh, I created uh, a graphics device a wrapper for it from scratch. I started in, uh, in the uh, end of uh, last November, and I think uh, Right now it's kind of at a state that is uh, decently finished. <coughs> there are of course some limitations with it, but uh, most things should uh, just work normally. Let's also try the terrain rendering, which also works, but for example this is one thing that required uh, some workarounds, because like the virtual texture uses uh, a graphics API feature sparse textures and that was not uh, supported the same way on, on the Metal API as it was on DirectX and Vulkan. So that is a sparse texture is used uh, by Wicked Engine to do a block compressed texture rendering of the of the terrain virtual texture. And that, that didn't really work on the Metal API. So there are just some kind of workarounds there to copy from, uh, to copy textures around, which uh, can kind of be a, a little bit worse performance, but not anything uh, too serious, hopefully. hopefully. As you can see, all the samples kind of work normally, except uh, the things that are not supported right now, like the video sample will not work. Uh, and uh, yeah, but uh, normally all, all, all things should work pretty, pretty well. 
Let's also try the live unbaking, which uh, uses hardware ray tracing. Uh, let's also uh, try some ray trace GI in uh, Sponza, for example. Okay. Let's enable, uh, let's say, okay, the mouse scrolling is maybe a bit uh, weird. It's not, not very comfortable right now. Let's try DDGI, which also uses a hardware accelerated ray tracing uh, API. This works. Uh, let's try uh, voxel GI. Okay, there could, can be some issues with it still. Some issues uh, are expected to, to be had in the Metal API. It's uh, just, uh, it's uh, not, uh, it's still not, uh, I still not mastered it, so there can be some issues and, uh, and odd limitations with it. Also the physics also works normally with the JWT physics. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, there is, for example, no CMake uh, support right now. No, I, I don't personally want to use the CMake, so if someone wants to use that, yeah, he can add it and uh, it will be accepted into the repository, but I really wanted to just, uh, just to get a normal, easy to build uh, solution like uh, you can do on Windows by just opening the uh, Visual Studio and build it. And the same way on Mac OS, it will just work normally like that. And uh, there is no SDL like on Linux. So I'm using the native Mac OS uh, libraries to um, like create or create the window and uh, that sort of stuff, which SDL would be used for on Linux. On, on Mac OS, I can just use the, the built-in system libraries like on Windows, and that's just that just also avoids another dependency on, on the SDL. Unfortunately, that also means that uh, completely new controls also had to be implemented, because SDL would support the, the keyboard input and the joystick input, but the joystick input is right now not available for macOS. It will be added later. Uh, here you can see the ray trace reflections working just to test uh, test that. Yeah, ray tracing and uh, just to test the effects that are working on, on macOS. Let's also try the the screen space reflections. Okay, so what else there is to say? <clears throat> yeah, the, the Steam and the HIO versions are also uploaded, so you can download those, uh, download Wicked Engine for Mac OS from, from those sites as well. And uh, the other samples, like the FPS sample, will be coming later. There, I, I still haven't tested yet, so it will need some testing, and then that will be released for Mac OS as well. Uh, let me show you just quickly how to, uh, once you downloaded the, the NG repository and you want to build it yourself, of course I showed that you can just hit the play button, but uh, there is another thing that uh, you can choose in uh, product scheme, edit scheme. You can select between debug and release builds, and the debug will be the default. Uh, this uh, this will be the important thing that uh, when you test the engine build for yourself, test in debug and test in release. So in debug you can uh, have more debugging, uh, and in release you will have more performance. And I think that's mostly it. I, I will be working on the macOS version uh, more, of course. And uh, improvements and fixes will be coming 
stay tuned for the upcoming updates in 2026 and beyond.